And we're back at it like a bad habit, chat. Red Nation in the cut. So today, as you can already read in the title and see the thumbnail, we're here to talk about how I got to 100 subscribers in two weeks. Now, I understand that getting to 100 subscribers is a massive deal for smaller YouTubers. I am, I am myself still a small YouTuber, so I know exactly how you feel, and trying to grind and get over the hump to get to 100 subscribers is incredibly difficult, and YouTube doesn't make it easy for us. So this video here is basically some advice, some tips and tricks, and basically how I did it, and how I utilize uh, YouTube's algorithm, their analytics, to boost my channel and to become a better YouTuber. Alright, and it all starts within the analytics. <clears throat> so I'm gonna going out right now. As you can see, I'm currently at 581 subscribers, and in the past 28 days, I gained 481 subscribers. As you guys can see, it's not clickbait, it's not BS, I'm actually doing it, and I think my methods are working. So I figured I'd make a YouTube video so I can share it with you all. Okay? So when you first look at these channel analytics, right, you have your overview, your reach, your engagement, and your audience. Okay, just looking at right now, just overview, these are the views that you accrued throughout your entire 28 days on YouTube. So it does it for every 28 days. But you can also change it up here to see last 28 days, last 90, last 365, and in a lifetime. Don't really do a lifetime, do like past 90 days or the past year, in my opinion. Because you don't want to see a lifetime, you want to see how much you're currently getting with your new videos so you can figure out how to better your videos to draw in a bigger audience, if that makes sense. So, uh, watch time hours, I'm currently at 1,343. And as you can see for the subscribers, 481. So, right here, it shows that I've gone up 480% in the past 28 days. So I'm doing extremely well, and I am on track to hitting a thousand subscribers very soon. Okay, so over in Reach, and Reach is probably one of the most important tools that the YouTube analytics bring in. Uh, the reason for it is because Reach shows you your impressions. Okay, now impressions are the the first time YouTube shows your channel on like their recommended pages. Like how, how often were you shown up? How many times your video and thumbnails were shown to viewers on YouTube? And this does not include YouTube apps, this only includes YouTube's web type, website. Um, for example, you wouldn't find it over Facebook, it doesn't count impressions over any external sites, right? Any other place people can find your YouTube channel won't count for this number. This is only on YouTube. And as you can see, at uh, 500 and basically 70 subscribers, I'm at 72,000. Right? That's a lot of impressions. 72,000 people have at least seen my video on the little sidebar or on the recommended pages. That's a huge number. But now, here's where things get tricky. So out of those 72,000, only 8.9% clicked on my video. Now this is where being a small YouTuber kicks into place, okay? So this little 8.9%, in my opinion, I think that's good. Um, out of 72,000, you know, like people are clicking on the video. But this tells me that I do better with my thumbnail, right? So thumbnails are basically your bread and butter on getting people to click on it. That plus a good title equals a W for you guys. It, it, it equals views, it equals clicks on your page, it equals watch time. Potentially, it can equal subscribers. Okay, this is the mathematics behind your YouTube channel. And this is what makes things important. All right, views, exactly what it sounds like. People that viewed your channel and unique viewers, right? This one right here, this is all of the new people that viewed your channel. As you can see, 2,730 in the past 28 days viewed my channel. Now to put that into perspective, if I had a higher click rate, right, from my impressions, this number would be way bigger. But I am grateful for the number that I do have, because as you can see, it's at 999%, right, 999%, um, which is a great number to be at for a small YouTuber, as you can already guess. But not all of those equivalent into subscribers and views. So the way you want to maximize that is to make sure that people are clicking on your channel, they like your content, right, and then in return you get more unique viewers all right now engagement right 
engagement is basically your watch time and your and your average view duration now watch time is a all over however many people watch your video how much time they are invested into your channel and helping you get to that 4,000 mark that you guys want to hit all right now average view duration this right here is the most important all right so the average view duration um, is basically on average let's say you have a hundred subscribers what is the average of a hundred subscribers gonna be watching how many minutes do they watch which is about eight minutes on my video right and like that's a lot Right, so if you put that into perspective, if I had like a million subscribers, I would I would surpass the 4,000 watch time hours. You see what I'm saying with eight minutes, and probably then some. This is a great number to be at. I've seen um a couple of other like like bigger YouTubers pages and average view duration, and and, and sometimes they kind of vary between like two minutes to like four minutes. So if I can maintain eight minutes as I am growing as a YouTuber, that'll be insane. It says I'm down 32%. Don't be discouraged by it showing you down. My YouTube channel is growing, therefore my number is going down. That's normal, in my opinion. I don't, I don't think this is ever gonna be higher. I think it's only gonna go lower because more people subscribing to your channel, more people viewing your channel is going to change your average view duration, okay? Then you have your audience. All right, audience is returning viewers. I do a lot of live streams. As you can look right here, all of this, I dropped a couple of little videos, a couple of little videos here, returning viewers, da 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 da, and you know, things are spiking, because like, my YouTube channel is growing, right, and it doesn't look like a lot, but as you can see, it's 87 here, 74 here, 57 here, 115 here, like, I get, I get, I get a good amount of views and watches, and returning watches to my content, right, uh, returning viewers, extremely important for your channel, okay, your returning viewers is basically like your base. Right? It's, it's the people that, that have been with you for your whole time, whether you have been on YouTube for a day, whether you have been on YouTube for a year. Returning viewers is what, is what keeps your YouTube channel going and pushing. It's what keeps YouTube to continue to push your stuff through the recommenders and increase your impressions. And the more subscribers you get, you know, the more it'll pull out to returning viewers. Okay, and I just wanted to show you guys a little analytics here and uh, to show you, you know, because most people don't know about the analytics on YouTube as smaller YouTubers and how this works. Okay, now how I got, you know, because I know that's what you guys have been waiting for, how I got to 100 subscribers in two weeks. Alright, so here's a couple of quick tips and tricks to get, to get more subscribers. Alright, for one, you can ask all of your friends to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Right? The, the hardest hump to get over is trying to get to that 100 subscriber count, right? I don't care if you have one friend or if you have 100 friends, right? Ask every one of your friends to subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you go live, tell your friends about it. This can help your YouTube videos kind of go up a little bit, right? That base attracts more people. When people see that they are watching your YouTube video, more people are likely to click on the video because it's like, well, why are there so many people in there? It makes people curious, right? And start it off with your friends. And then watch it grow organically over time as you continue to do this method. Okay? Um, another thing that I did as a, as a gamer, right? I, I do a lot of 2K content, right? But it doesn't matter if you are a gaming channel or if you are a makeup channel or a basketball channel or what have you. It doesn't matter, right? If you know your audience, you know what they want, right? Ask them to subscribe to your channel. If you meet other people into your circle, a great example of this, right? Uh, my wife, she runs a makeup channel. And I'll put the link in the description for my wife's channel as well. But she runs a makeup channel. And she used my method to gain more subscribers on her makeup channel. And what she did was she has all of these friends and they always discuss makeup on Instagram. It's like an Instagram group, right? And I'm like, why don't you just tell them that you have a makeup channel? And you guys can all talk about, you know, your makeup stuff on your YouTube channel. She's like, that's a great idea. She put her link inside there and she gained 45 subscribers in a day. Which is a huge number for a small YouTube channel, right? So clearly that method works because if you have people that like what you do and you know that they like what you do, sometimes it's as simple as just reminding people to hit the sub button, right? Asking people, don't be afraid to hear the word no, right? 
that's that's promoting yourself that's doing great things with your channel that's a that's a big step forward the first step is just saying hey listen i have a youtube channel you're my friend you're my dog whatever do you mind subscribing to my youtube channel right even if they don't plan on liking the content because it's trying to get you over that hump so you can continue to gain you know more credibility within the youtube algorithm it's so important guys and like I can't stress it enough because like what, what I'm noticing is I have some friends who have been on YouTube for years and haven't hit 500 subscribers, right? And then I have some friends that have been on there for a couple of months that applied similar things that I'm doing that's already at a thousand, right? So the way I'm figuring things out is well what did what did he do wrong or what did she do wrong? What did he do right? What did she do right? Right? And kind of juggling between there and trying to find my middle ground. Now, I'm not saying everything that I'm doing is the end all be all. Like I said, I'm still a new YouTuber, as you guys can all see. But this is definitely great examples of what I'm doing and how it's been working for me. So if it's working for me, maybe it can work for you. And that's the reason why I wanted to create this video. Current subscriber count is 586, right? I'm going to be at 1,000 subscribers in maybe a month, maybe two months, right? That's, that doesn't seem like a very long time. You know what I mean? A thousand subscribers in two months? We'll see. That's the goal. But that's that's what I have. Now, another another cool tip in which you can bring to the table to earn more subs and gain more views and watch time. Invest in your base. So if you do anything um, on, on behalf of the live streams, right? Quick tip for live streams, because I do a lot of live streams. Um if you guys are doing any forms of live streams, I don't care, for makeup content or cooking content or whatever, make sure that you guys are interacting with your people that are in there. I don't care if there's only one person watching. Interact with that person. Be active, be encouraging, be happy. That energy that you project through that camera to these people, they can feel that. I, I, will, I will bet you money that they can feel that energy, they can feel that vibe. When you show up to that live stream happy and you're engaged, you will continue to grow. You just you just have to keep putting yourself and putting your best foot forward every time you drop a video. That that energy will project upon itself. And I have no doubt in my mind by applying these simple tricks and tips to your YouTube channel, it'll help you continue to grow. So to recap, you want to have a thumbnail for your videos because impressions matter as you can already see. If my impression count was literally 10% higher, I would have probably already be at 100, uh, I mean, uh, already be at uh, 1,000 subscribers, right? If my, if my impression, if my impressions were, if my impression click through rate was at 18%, I would probably already be at 1,000 subscribers. So, and because of that, I took the, the step forward on trying to get a new thumbnail. Currently, this is my thumbnail. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll scroll down a little bit. Right here. This is my thumbnail for my video game content for my Red Nation Divide. I did this thumbnail through my phone. Right? Through my phone. I made it on my phone and I don't know anything about content. I took the picture and then I took other photos and I matched it together and I put Red Nation is live. And this is what this is what I got out of it. But I will be dropping my new thumbnail this Thursday for my video game content and it looks incredibly different. Uh, I ended up hiring a professional to create my thumbnail and it cost me like little to no money guys. Please check out Fiverr. It cost me little to no money. Especially if you're going to be doing reoccurring content as a gaming channel or whatever. If you're going to be doing reoccurring content, it's, you, can, you can find somebody to, to, to make your thumbnail as a professional artist and make it look fire. Because I'm telling you, my new thumbnail that's coming in, I'm coming in. <laughs> it's going to be great. But I digress. So that's, that's some of the that I can bring to the table and tell you guys from one small YouTuber to another small YouTuber, this is what I've been doing. And if this helps you at all, hit that like button. Hit the sub button so you can help me. I would appreciate that because I'm trying to get it out of the mud too, right? Hit the notification bell if you're interested in 2K content. If you're interested in just hearing my voice or talking to me and trying to pick my brain during my live streams, like I said, I'm extremely communicative. Oh, what is that word? Let's just go with flexible. <laughs> um, I had a brain fart. Sorry, guys. But uh, that's that's me in a nutshell, right? So if you if you guys like this video, man, hit the like button, hit the sub, 
notification bell is there if you want to if you want to hit the taco bell button this has been your boy red nation i appreciate every single one of you guys you guys have been awesome thank you god bless peace out